was, do you believe that gay sex is a sin? No. If I could just be clear about that, that's not... Okay. Do you think that gay sex is a sin? The answer, no. Welcome, everybody. And this is the Christian Prince with you. Enjoying the good day today. You know, the Mohammedan always they come to us with their new bully. They always bully each other. I never saw a Muslim who don't bully other Muslim. And uh, Mimi Hijab, obviously he is jealous. This guy, he became a minister. Mimi Hijab is a boy in the street. He strip, he take off his clothes. And thanks to David Wood, this guy, he will be homeless by now. But David Wood, he made him something. <laughs> so I want to say thank you for being here. And let us start our program for today. Welcome. Peace of Christ all of you, and please let us have some good time and learn something new. Uh, you know, I was going to talk about two different topics today, but when I came online, I saw, you know, YouTube suggested me a video of Mimi Hijab piece uh, 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 pink upon her. <laughs> so Mimi Hijab, he made a video and it's uh, posted in his channel. Uh, it's called, Is Hamza Yusuf a Muslim? Is Hamza Yusuf a Muslim? And then he said, I, uh, he saw an interview of him in the TV and they asked him a question, if gay marriage or being a gay, sorry, is a sin? Is being a gay a sin? Sex is a sin. No, if I could just be clear about that, that's not... Okay. That's not <laughs> Sorry, I need water. <laughs> Is and I mean this guy, this guy Mimi Hijab, he invite and rotate who is a pimp. Do you know what pimp mean? And then he is now talking about sin? This guy, he have a pimp and he was praising the pimp. And now he is talking against this guy because he is wrong. He is out of Islam. He said being a gay is not a sin. Hmm. I just I've been asked that question about 25 times and I've answered it the same way 25 times so I, I can't change what's in certain faiths I can't change what's in scripture what I can tell you is the approach that I will take which is that I will not allow personal faith to be the basis of legislation now at the end of the interview she asked him point blank unequivocally un this guy, he is not a gay, but his mouth is over the mic. <laughs> Why you don't suck it? <laughs> what do you, what do you, what they ask you point blankly? What? Ambiguously. Is it a sin? And he said, no. This is kufr akbar. This is something which takes somebody out of the religion of Islam. Ah, so now he is out of Islam. Aha, okay, okay. Now, according to Islam, can a man go and do striptease in the street? And by the way, you are not a gay, supposedly, right? And you shave the hair in your chest. There is, because this guy, he always take, you know, off his clothes. He loves to show, you know, like, he think he have muscles. I mean, this guy, he really, he think he have something. <laughs> It's beef. But anyway, <laughs> if you look at his chest, he shaved all the hair in his body. But he is not a gay. And he is angry. The guy, he said, it is not a sin. Pink boy. 
Pink boy, pink boy, what you gonna do? <laughs> now, you know, if we ask any Muhammadan, where in the Quran it says that if you are a gay, you don't go to heaven. If there is any Muhammadan can show us where? <laughs> I want every single Muhammadan who is listening to me and to this potato who is sucking the microphone, but he is not a gay. Where we can find in the Quran that if you are a gay, you don't go to heaven and you are not a Muslim. Any Muhammadan can tell me? Isn't it the stupid Quran says, and I will quote by word by word, Allah forgive any sin, all sin, except shirk. Your God don't care if you are a gay or not. You stupid idiot liar. Your God himself is a gay. When they ask Allah, why you cannot have kids? He said, how Allah can have kids if he don't have a girlfriend? He don't. And in the whole Quran, not a single verse saying, what is the punishment for being a gay? There is only story about Lut, which is a story from the Old Testament. But nowhere in the Quran is speaking about a punishment. Like, you know, if you... In the Quran, if you do for fornication, but you know Islam is is religion of fornication, but they give uh, you know you have to you have to do fornication by rules like you do muta or zawaj a friend, but the fornication what they consider fornication, there is a punishment for it, and there is no punishment for being a gay, except two places in the Quran. One speak about the lesbian, and one speak about the gay. And what the gay is, heard them, heard them. And if we go to the interpretation for the verse, it says, beat them by sandals and insult them. Beat them by what? Beat them by sandals and insult them. And if they re repent, leave them alone. So when when this potato, he say that in Islam, <clears throat> Uh, let us go to the verse. If you are a gay, you are not a Muslim. Every single Muslim he knew that this is absolutely false. Chapter 4, verse number 15. This is talking about women sleeping together. Let us go and read the interpretation so we can laugh. The funny is that Muhammad, he consider being a woman, sleeping with women, is very, very harsh. But a man sleeping with a man is not a big deal. Read with me and laugh. And this is the Quran, and this is the interpretation. Let us go here, verse after it. As for those women of yours who commit loudness adultery, call for Muslim men uh, uh, of you to witness against them. <laughs> Hold on, what is my phone? Hello? <laughs> hey, um, uh, 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 Assalamu alaikum. Christian Prince, I told you, don't call me, it is Ramadan. Hey, Zakir Naik, we need four witnesses. There is two women having sex together. But we cannot punish them unless we have four witnesses. So, 
can you join me and call two more Muslims so we can be four? Christian Prince, first of all, you cannot be a witness because you're Christian. Number two, if they are women and they are having sex together, you cannot prove that they are having sex. Exactly, why? Because Prophet Muhammad beat up him. He said to Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number 215, that you have to see the penis going inside the inkwell. And those two women didn't have penis. What? Yeah, you are right. Those women didn't have a penis. And the Prophet, he said, we have to see the penis going inside the thing, you know the thing, like the pen in the pink, in the inkwell. Exactly. And therefore, there is no way to prove that they are having sexual intercourse. Because simply, women are not have sexual intercourse. And simply, you are stupid. Zakanak, don't blame me. I mean, your Quran is saying being for witnesses. First of all, there is no way in the Quran it says being for witnesses for lesbian. It's in the verse in the front of me. Chapter 4, verse number 15. Read it. Get them, please. First of all, chapter 4, verse number 15 is that it is in the Quran. I see in my Quran, we have chapter 4, verse number 14, and then we have chapter 4, verse number 16. There's no 15. What? What? There's no 15? What do you mean? You jump it? Exactly. Because originally, I'm from Korea. And in Korea, number 15 is haram. What? Number 15 is what? It, it's not haram. It's kind of like, like number 13. Like there is no floor, number 4. But what the heck have to do with this? There is no floor number four. We are talking about the Quran. What do you mean there is no floor number four? Christian bread. If you go to Korea, you will not find a bread. You will not find any floor at number four. Okay. That's a superstition. Exactly. And the lay superstition. This is the way in the Quran. We skip anything have to do with number four. But is Zach and Nike, focus with me. This is not four. This is a chapter four, verse number 15. Christian Prince, are you stupid or what? The holy chapter is a chapter four. So we skip it. Ah, the holy chapter is a chapter four. So we skip the chapter. Man, that's good. That's so good. Mm. <laughs> then, now this is about the women. And if we catch them, which is impossible, we jail them for their lifetime. Mm. What if a man have sex with the man? We beat them with sandals. <laughs> Read carefully. <laughs> if two you are homosexual, do an intercourse, punish them both with, with insult and beat them with sandals. <laughs> And Mimi Hijab, he made the guy kafir because he said it's not sin. But Mimi Hijab, if it is a serious sin, I mean, in the Quran, there is punishment like cutting hands for stealing an egg. But as long as you don't steal it from Muslims, it, you are, you know, you, nobody will punish you. But if you steal from Muslim, we will cut your hand. For, so for the stealing egg, we cut the hand of the guy. And then if a man sleep with the man, we beat him by sandals. And he is a gay. I think he will get excited. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine how stupid this man, his name is Muhammad. If a man, he stole an egg. You see, the Bible says that if somebody he steal to eat, this person will not be punished because he is stealing based on hunger. He is not a bad person. He have kids to feed. He's not stealing money. He's stealing food. So if a person he do such a thing, the Bible is very merciful with such a person. Muhammad, who he himself is the biggest thief in history, he stole even women from their families. Now is going to teach us how, and by the way, this is what the Arab used to do. The Arab used to, you know, if somebody he steal before Islam, the pagan Arab, and the same as the pagan Muhammad, they used to cut the hand of anyone is a thief. So Muhammad, he adopted what the Arab 
do and he added but we cannot find this in the Quran too nowhere this one can be found in the Quran this is only in the hadith as usual and we cannot find really a punishment of death in the Quran you will find that in the hadith as usual which means those are not really mentioned in the Quran for they are not important so here you will notice with me the prophet of eggs he said the one may Allah curse the thief who steal an egg for which his hand is cut off egg so if you steal an egg in Islam you know the punishment fit with the penalty do we agree with the with the with the crime if the crime is bad then the penalty will be very bad so if you steal an egg we cut your hand as long as you are stealing from Muslim we cut your hand if you steal it from Christian Hindu Jews Allah bless you halal there's a little blood and money is halal but if you are a homosexual doing homosexuality we beat you by sandals This is religion, and this guy is going live on air with no shame, is speaking about this man, he is not a Muslim. Is it your prophet Muhammad, he said, and let me find the hadith, that in the heaven there is no buying nor selling? Except images of men and women. If the man he like it, which means the image, he enter it and have sex with it. If Muhammad is not a homosexual, why he is promising you to have sex with men in heaven? So, if in heaven you can have sex with men, why you cannot have sex with men in earth? Let us go to the hadith and love together. Read it. And now for sure they will say to you, it's da'if, which means you cannot trust Islam. Islam is not trustworthy. All their books is a fabrication. Well, if you say those books are uh, 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 not trustworthy, that means all the punishment about the homosexual is false too, because they are in the same books. So we will find here, your prophet saying, not me, and this is your translation, not my translation, that in the heaven, which is nothing but a pimp house, there is no buying nor selling except images. And whoever, and if a man, images of what? Images of men and women. So he did not say images of women and the, and the customer is a man. No, he said images of men and women. In fact, he said the word men first, which is your favorite fruits. Like you mentioned, the last delicious one at the end of the list, at the end of the menu. So you're a false prophet saying that in the heaven there is a playboy. Your prophet Muhammad is a pimp before and rotate. Somebody saying he is released, he's not released, he's still under arrest. You know, those cases, they take forever. I mean, the, those women, they filed against him a few years ago. So they cannot keep him there forever. And they will put him in at home, but he's under arrest. But anyway, regardless, he's a pimp like Muhammad, but Muhammad for sure, he is a pimp more than this guy because uh, Muhammad he did uh, even make a, make it legal in the Quran to be a pimp. If you go in the Quran and we search for the word prostitution, which is mentioned only uh, the word prostitution as it is. Mention actually twice. One when the Jews accuse Mary in a very false word, and one about prostitute, who they are doing prostitution by Muslims. Allah, He said, Aka Muhammad, 
Force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose chastity. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful. There is no punishment for prostitution. In fact, this is a license. If they agree, God will bless you. Allah bless you. The God of the pimps. There is no punishment for prostitution. It's the opposite. You see, I have a license here. Force them not if they choose a chastity. He did not say it is forbidden for you to do prostitution. He said the opposite. It is lawful for you to do prostitution. Especially if the female women, who usually they are the slaves, agreed upon it. And even if you force them, Allah is all merciful. The Muslim, they say, Allah is all merciful to them, to the women. Okay, where is the punishment for the man? He just gave him a license. He just gave the Muhammadan a license for prostitution. So when Muhammad, he promised images of men and women, and if the man liked the image, he will enter it and have sex with it. And then Muhammad continue is speaking about the whore. If you remember, when a woman, she asked Zakir Naik about the whore, he said, Brother Tatar, first the word whore is a plural word. It's not the, the, the male or female. So in Salah Tatar, you will have a whore. So the man, Zakir Naik, the video is there. He's a promising a Muslim woman. She will be if non-stop. A lot of men, they will if her whore men. So whore, according to Zakir Naik, not to me, is men and women. And now those men and women, they will sing, sing for you. <laughs> this is not my words. <laughs> so, uh, when the Muhammadan they want, this guy, you know, he was their hero. And when they want, they bully him. Where you been in the last 20 years? This guy always support gays and lesbians. You must then post his videos everywhere defending Islam. Huh? Where you been? But this potato, because he is jealous, this person, he became a minister. He is a street boy. And if not David Wood, he is still in the street, in the corner, wearing his pink t-shirt. It was David Wood who made him flourish and have a lot of money. And now, Mimi Hijab, the one who go naked in the street and he strip and he wear jeans, if you watch his video with Yasser Kadhi, he was wearing jeans, have holes in it. Fashion boy. I mean, have you ever heard of a man he claimed to be a real man? He wear a jeans, have holes in it all over his body. Why? You want to show your skin? And you are a religious Muslim supposedly growing a beard? But you shave your chest hair like the Prophet? The most obvious stripper speaking about the most obvious false prophet who is a Muhammad and would like to call us and tell us why Allah in the Quran never mention any harsh punishment for someone he is as this guy Mimi Hijab he claim you are not a Muslim if you do so that's what he said Uh, this guy, uh, he spoke to me yesterday, the blind man. He is saying to me, what do you think about a video from an atheist? My friend, we laugh at those atheists. A person, he believes he's a monkey. I cannot debate him. Because there is no, he, you know, his logic does not exist. His logic is against his own. 
He have no proof of anything. He don't like Christianity. Why? Because he says, love your enemy. <laughs> so Christianity is the biggest problem. In fact, if not the Christianity, he will not be able to be an atheist and free. Every freedom is exist in the world today, especially even in the West. It's because of a Christianity, not the opposite. And because those atheists, they are cowards, you will see them attacking Christianity, but they go mute. Very few of them, they speak against Islam. The majority, 99%, because Christianity is nice. So we can say whatever we want against Christianity. However, you can invite this potato to call me and let us see what this atheist he can do. Let him call me. And let us see how long he will survive. Anyway, uh, somebody asking me if you can debate a Muslim. We always, we know we keep saying, call us. Don't ask me those questions. Don't text me in Skype to ask me such a silly question. I mean, we keep saying uh, Skype is open, call us. And then you send me a, a question saying, can a Muslim debate you? Is that really a question? Somebody in Skype saying to me, how are you doing? Hmm. Yeah, serious question. What we can say? Any Muhammad? Any half Mohammedan. Hmm. Anyone? Who is a Mohammedan would like to explain to us <clears throat> why in the market there's a market? And this market, there is images. Is that mean that a, the promise of Allah, of male and female to have sex with, is just fantasy? It is a three dimension images. Are they real people or this is image? It says here in front of me images. Are you going to wear glasses in the heaven of Allah, and you will see three word dimension that you are touching a man or a woman? If this is not true, then you tell me why it says images. Any Muhammadan? My Skype is open and the information actually in the info of the video. Would like you to call me? Would you like to call me? Any Muhammadan? Hmm? So it turned to be that if a Muhammadan he became a minister in England, he is not a Muslim. Well, all of you, you are not Muslims. If you don't agree with what he say, but you yourself, you carry a passport, have a cross in it. Who is more stupid now? And who is more hypocrite? Isn't it the Quran says take not Christians and Jews as a friends or protectors? Chapter 5, verse 51. Hmm? Potato. Do you know why I call those people potatoes? Because they are potatoes. You can't blame me. You cannot. If we ask this potato, the one who claimed to be a man, what is on your passport? 
Is that a cross? Hmm? The cross on the crown, the cross in the middle, the cross and the other the cross is all over place. What is the flag of England? So now the guy he says gay is not being a sin, but you carrying a passport have a cross in it is not a sin in Islam. Do you pay tax to the infidels? Is that halal in Islam? Do you wear their clothing? <laughs> and isn't it your prophet Muhammad, he said, if you say Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times, all your sin is forgiven. <laughs> Even if you are a gay. Even if your sin is more than the foam of the ocean. <laughs> okay. Let us see. If we go in the hadith, <laughs> even if his sin is more than the foam of the ocean brother sorry sister all what he need to do he say bismillah walhamdulillah 100 times <laughs> A Muslim here, you know, he's uh, he's posting for us. I don't know if he is a Muslim or not. He is saying that good is not equal to bad. I mean, my friend, what is good and what is bad in Islam? Are you kidding me? What is good and what is bad? Your prophet, he go to his son. When the husband is not home. And he flirt with the wife. And Allah told him, why you are hiding what is in your heart? <laughs> where is the good and where is the bad? <laughs> Mr. Allahu Akbar. <laughs> your prophet is a professional fornicator. Tell the Christian prince to translate for you if he dare. Well, I'm I'm translating. I just said, are you are you are you uh, uh, are you deaf like your prophet? You hear from your you know. ولا تستوي الحسن ولا السيئة ادفع بالتي هي أحسن. Wow, that is so deep. So I am I'm asking you, and I want an answer. If the bad is not equal to the good. When you're a prophet, he went to his own son and he flirted with the married women. Is that the hasana or a sayyah? Is it the bad deed or the good deed? I'm waiting for your answer. You are the one who is saying to me, they are not equal. What is not equal? The bad deed and the good deed. Okay. But where is the good deed in Islam? So, in Islam, the good deed is a flirting with the wife of your son. Is a sleeping with the child she is six years old. Is telling a man, why you marry a widow, why you don't marry a child, like the story of Jabir. Is killing a woman, she just get married, killing her husband, her father, her brother, and rape her half mile away. Where is the good deed? Did he answer? <clears throat> Why you don't call me? Instead of being potato, let people hear you.
Call me and you translate for us. Do you dare? You don't. So if we go to the verse he said to us, and he is saying, if he dare. Well, here we go. If he dare, if you dare, read for me. Force not your girls to do prostitution if they choose a prostitute. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful. A license for prostitution. Is that a bad deed or good deed? So when a Muhammad and he speak that the Quran teaching you to do good deed, you need to ask yourself first, what the good deed in Islam? What is a good deed in this cult garbage? Is it a good deed to marry a child she is six years old? Is it a good deed to send men to die for you and then, then you take their women? Is it a good deed to lift the skirt of a, of, of, of a, 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 a girl she is nine years old to see her legs? Call me if you're a man. I want to see the good deed. So the Quran speak about good deed. Do good deed. What is a good deed? Say Bismillah alhamdulillah 100 times. <laughs> you know, they have big mouth speaking about good deed. Like when you hear a Muslim speaking about good deed, you will believe it. Like good deed. He just said good deed. What's wrong with you? Muslim, they are not asked to do bad deed. Good deed. And this potato, he don't dare to answer. When you're a prophet, he went to his own house, to his own son's house, and he flirted with his own son as it's written in your books. And the Quran confirmed it. And Allah, he says to him, why you hide with Allah what you have in your heart? Is that a good deed or bad deed? I'm waiting. Suddenly he is dead. What happened to this guy? He was saying if he dare. Look, look, look. He was saying for you, CP. And then he said in the chat, if he dare, let him translate for you. He's a final prophet. Okay, I'm asking you guys, he's a final prophet. Okay, he is a final prophet who prophesied that the sun set in muddy spring of water. I mean, who can bring such a prophecy? Nobody. Even Joe Biden cannot bring it. Guys, he's a final prophet. Just take it like this. I'm asking him when he did a flirt with his own son wife, he tried to change the topic. He went to, he's a final prophet. Okay. Dude, do you hear what I'm saying? Or you're trying to play deaf now? Is it a good deed when he flirt with his own son wife? Remember, we are talking about the, you are the one who mentioned the word good deed, not me. He's a final prophet. So if he is a final prophet, he go flirt with his own son wife. Is that what final prophets do? I'm waiting for your answer, Mr. Final Prophet. The prophet who prophesied uh, that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. The prophet who taught Muslim women to do good deed, to give their breasts to adult so they can suck them. And then Mimi Hijab, he go around in Twitter everywhere asking Muslim women to give him their boobs. Read it. And here in this tweet, he was asking a Muslim sheikh, saying to him, okay, okay, can I suck your wife's tit to make her haram? Is that the good deed? A prophet of God telling Muslim women to give their tits to Mr. Andrew Tate. Tate. This is why his name is Andrew Tate. Actually, you know what? From now on, we'll call him Andrew Tate. So, to give their boobs to Andrew Tate so he can suckle their boobs? Are you there? Why are you playing dead now? Are you searching Prophet Gogol? 
The final prophet, he ordered Muslim women to give their boobs. To Andrew Tate. And Andrew Tate, you know, he loved it. You know, he made a lot of money from it. Hello? Potato, 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 potato. And he said, I dare Christian Prince to translate for you. You know, this false cult, they speak about good, but you need, you need to know what is good in Islam. What is good in Islam to go after children and have sex with them to be a bedophile. What is good in Islam is to lie to the wife lying to the husband and the husband lying to the wife and the Muslim, you know, ask the Muslims, is it true that a man, he can lie to his wife or the wife, she lied to her husband? They answer you. Christian Prince, first of all, as an example, my wife, she looked like a chimpanzee. So if I say that to me, are you my beautiful? What do you want me to say? If I say she's not beautiful, she will kill me. So I say to her, you are very beautiful. And then why the prophet said, you can lie to your wife. Oh, Zachary Naik, your wife looked like a chimpanzee. Well, then why you married her? Huh? Thieves must lose their hands. Okay, the one who steal the wife, his son, shouldn't he lose his penis? <laughs> Guys, thief must lose his hand. Muhammad, he stole his own son wife. Shouldn't he lose his penis? <laughs> Actually, there's a story of a guy, Muhammad, he cut his hand, he cut his feet, and still he can, he's can steal. <laughs> One of the most hilarious stories in Muhammad books. <laughs> so, Abdul, why you are avoiding my question? Muhammad, he stole his own son wife. Should we cut his penis? I'm waiting. Or you will say to me, he don't have one anyway. This is why he have a big zipper. Because he cannot find it. It takes two hours to find it. Who is a Muhammadan? He dare to call me. Somebody saying in the chat, debate me. Are you sure? Text me in Skype. We are welcome. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday, just call me. Allah will give you a reward from you, from, from He. The reward is a big box full of women and pictures of men they can do you. And she act and they act like she. Who is a Muhammadan would like to go to heaven and get the catalog of images of men and women? Anyone? Hmm? Any Muhammadan? I got no reward? Oh, Hassan Noor, he just told me the bad news. Guys, Sorry, what a bad day. I was thinking like, you know what? I don't know, I'm really disappointed now. Mr. Hassan, he just said, he just informed me that I have no reward. So Hassan, are you saying to me, when your prophet said, Allah will make your penis endless, I will not have such an endless one? With thanks to Allah, my friend. I don't think this is a reward. Do you know what will happen to you 
if your penis go all the way through the Amazon River and those little tiny fish there with their sharp teeth. Reward? Who dare to call me? Let us discuss the reward of Allah so we can die laughing. What is the reward of Osama bin Laden? He will become a green bird. Is that true? Is that true? Is it true that Osama bin Laden will become a green bird? So this is the reward you promised me? Hmm? Who of us don't wish that one day he will become a green bird? Hey, sir, do you like, can I be a red one? Uh, no, sorry. It's everything is green in the heaven of Allah. Everybody is green. Muslim wearing green silk. The bird are green. Allah Himself is Mister Green. Reward? I will not get a reward. I will not become a green bird. So you guy, you do jihad, you die, they kill you, they screw you. Uh, the guy who want to kill the, 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 the minister of, uh, of intelligence in, 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 in Saudi Arabia, the prince. Do you know what they did to him? The Muslim Mujahideen, they put TNT or C4 in his anus. Can you believe it? They had sex with the guy so he can, they can insert the Mujahid. He's a Mujahid. He mujahid by his anus. So they if him, if him, if him, if him, until his anus become, excuse my language, become big enough to put C4 and it connected to uh, chip. I mean, look how his anus is big. And when he went inside the office, he came because supposedly he want to repent. They have a program if you repent. So the prince is being nice, supposedly welcome him. We want to show the public that we treat them nice if they give up Al-Qaeda and ISIS. So the guy go inside the office, he hold his watch, he push the bomb, and he explode. And his ass is all over the wall. And that the prince, actually, he was burned, but he did not die. He's alive until now. And later he become the crown prince. But now the other uh, Abdul took his place. So look here, we ask Abdullah ibn Mas'ud about the verse, don't consider those who have been killed in God's path to be dead. Nay, they are alive in the presence of their Lord. Chapter 3, verse 169, he replied, he asked about that, the prophet and the prophet, he said, there is spirit or in the crops of a green bird. Don't tell that to Putin. Don't tell that to Putin. I will make a video actually about the friend of Putin who they are Muslims. A phone call of two hours and they are stepping the back of Putin. <laughs> His Muslim friends, you know, remember, take not Christians and Jews as friends. So in front of him, they kiss his ass. In his back, they are insulting him. We will talk about it later. Who is a Muhammadan would like to become a green bird? And now I want to know. If I convert to Islam and I join G Mujahideen and I die, and Allah, he promised me a lot of female. I want to know for the sake of Allah. How I'm going to have sex with those women if I am a green bird? Anyone can tell me? The Abdul here saying, Allah always will be ready for your repentance, you stupid idiot. Isn't it you Muslim believe in destiny? Isn't it your God, he says, that he wrote the destiny of everybody before he was born? So if I say anything, it was destiny. If I insult Allah, it was destiny. If you are a thief, it's a destiny. If you commit sin, it's a destiny. If you do fornication, it is a destiny. And you stupid, you are saying to me, Allah is ready for you in repentance. 
Because even if I repent, it's a destiny. Are you stupid or what? Do you know why I like the Chinese when they say that he left as a donkey and never came back as a horse? And look, your name is Beth Finder. Hmm. I remember when I was a teenager, we went to the mountain somewhere and like we want to do hiking. So the villager, he said, took the, take the donkeys. Like we're a bunch of kids. He said, take the donkey with you. We said to him, why don't I take the donkey? She so said, trust me, you will lose your way. All the mountains look the same. When you are done at the end of the day, just let the donkey go and follow him. Are you that donkey, the pathfinder? Be honest with me. You know what? I was wondering where I met you first time. Because you speak the same way. We led the donkey in the mountain, and guess what? Not only he took us to the home, he, he took us in a very short cut. <laughs> the only way to the heaven of Allah is what? <laughs> Why do you want to go to the heaven of Allah? Okay, hold on. Isn't it the stupid Quran says, None of you, not even one of you, but he will go to hell? Is it the Quran says that? The Quran promise you all of you Muslims will go to hell. Here we go. Let me show you. You are an ignorant. Potato. You are not even a potato. Potato are delicious. Woman min kumu illa wa riduha. <laughs> Not even one of you, but he will enter hell. Any Muhammadan? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? Any brave Muhammadan between you? So he can call me and get reward? Either you will be burned by me, or Allah will make you a barbecue. Mehdi, Mehdi, how do you do? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. You cannot call me to defend your prophet because you know he is not a prophet. Is that your Quran? Guys, look at the Muslim translation. There is not one of you but shall pass over it. You know what? I want to shave my 200 feet beard if you can show me the word pass and over it. Pass over it. Are you sure? <laughs> Let us go to the interpretation and see, just to show you how they lie. I mean, they love to lie. You can print and change the translator, you know. Just this is Hilali and Khan. Let us see, uh, let us see who, I don't know, all of them, they are the same, but uh, Arbari, Muhammad Arbari, Arbaru, Barbaru, Barbari, Barbari, Harumurra. Not one of you, but shall go down to it. <laughs> shall go what? Down to it. Where? It's talking about hell. I mean, look at this stupid religion. I mean, you change the translator, the whole Quran change. Let us go and see the interpretation. Every Muslim will enter hell. Oh boy. 271. The Hindu chapter. Mm. Mm. The cow chapter. The biggest chapter of the Quran is the cow chapter. What? Where are we going here? Hold on. <clears throat> Not you know we are, we are reading the wrong uh, verse, uh, brother. Hold on. Where is the verse? Where is the verse? I have tons of pages. Open it. This is the one he asked us for, to open. Where is the potato? Yeah. 19, 19, not, not the cow, sorry. Chapter 19, verse number. Man, I because I'm hungry, to be honest with you. 
It's not a cow chapter. It's chapter 19. What's wrong with you? Man. Look at this. There is not one of you, but shall come to that, but shall enter hell. Ooh. So you Muslim, you lie to us. You say to us, if you become a Muslim, you are going to go to heaven. It turned to be what? We are going to enter hell. Is that you? Christian prince, do you understand Arabic? No. There's a thousand million website videos saying Christian prince do not know how to speak Arabic, especially from Indonesia. I speak Indonesian fluently, by the way. Orang, orang. Christian Prince, if you can answer some questions, I will give you five BMW. Number one, show me one verse in the Bible. It says that Jesus Christ, he said he Christian. If you can show me where Jesus says he is a Christian, I will give you five hamburger. I mean, this the second you you become a Muslim, you have an infection in your head, you have an infection in your private part, you have an infection everywhere. Christ, you, you want me to show you that Christ is a Christian? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, did you have like friends to help you to make this question or like this is, was your brilliant brain? And the Muslim, they are saying to him, bless you, brother. Allahu Akbar, brother. Yeah, get him busted, brother. Let us see if he can answer you now. <laughs> you know what? Even Borat did not say those words. You know Borat? Borat is smarter than your prophet. Do we have any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Who is here for the first time? If you are here for the first time, my friend, just take a hike. I'm advising you. You will like it, and you will be addicted, and you will get overweight it's not nice to say the word fat <laughs> come on you don't say that you know you have to be particularly correct you will get really fat because you will love a lot they claim i don't know i'm not a doctor even though i work as a doctor in the middle east because in the middle east all what you need to do to be a doctor is to read the quran and the hadith <laughs> and i'm so good in that man so i was a doctor in the middle east Anyone ask me, hey, Christian Prince, I have a problem. Drink camel urine. Really? Yes, and you will be very fine. Actually, there's a guy, he have, I will tell you, this is a true story, by the way. If you go to the page, uh, YouTube of uh, Mimi Hijab, in the beginning of every video, you will see him, he's selling seed. Anyone know what, uh, what, no, what, he's, what seed he sell? What seed, what seed he sell? Hmm? Negla seed. So there's a guy. This is a true story, by the way. I swear by the Quran, it's a true story. I mean, come on, you have to believe me now. So there's a guy, he came to me. He said to me, I lost my true liver. My heart is not working. My brain is dead. My blood is not moving. I have diabetes. And... I have gargarina, they cut my legs. And he's counting. I said, stop, stop, this is a lot. He said, I did not, and I lost my teeth. I said, what the heck? He said, I please help me. I said, no problem. I want you to eat the negla seed. One negla seed and come back to me. Brothers and sisters, the guy is almost dead. He come to me. His legs, who they are cut off, they come back. They grow like a lizard. Subhanallah. His heart, he have heart. He lost his heart long time ago. Like, you know, his wife, she broke it. You know what the women, they do these days. So he lost his heart, his liver. The liver, you know, he went on vacation in Turkey. They gave him something in the coffee. He slept, he woke up, he have no liver. I gave him the Nagla seed as a prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said. And the guy become like a horse, as if nothing happened to him. 
Read what the Prophet said. Naglasid is the remedy for every disease. But some, what the heck some is that? You ask the Muslim, what is that? They will say to you, death. <laughs> death? <laughs> Ibn Shabib said uh, that uh, that word is, means uh, death. And the Naglasid, uh, you know, uh, you know, will will make you heal any disease except death. Hey, Muslims, is a death is a disease? I mean, your prophet is so smart. Look, look, look. Naglasid is the remedy of every disease. And the Muhammadan flying around the world to fix their body. Just take Naglasid, you idiot. Don't you trust the medical? education of Allah do we have any Muhammadan did Muhammad lie or he is telling the truth this is a very authentic hadith either he is telling the truth and then we do not need a pharmacy it says clearly that the black seed cure every single disease except death. And by the way, I never heard of a disease called death. Since when death is a disease? And what the heck is that? You know what? Do you think that Jesus, when he was healing people, huh? Now we know what Jesus was doing. Those Christian they lie to us. He was giving people necklace seed. The blind man, he come to Jesus. He said, Lord, I want to see what Jesus do. Without telling anyone, he gave him necklace seed. He opened his mouth. He put necklace seed in his mouth. Oh, bingo, the guy he see. And those Christian they say, Allah Akbar, look, Jesus, you know, Jesus is... Uh, 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 amazing uh, alhamdulillah Jesus he is the greatest look he made the blind see no he just gave the guy a necklace seed but nobody noticed he pushed it in his nose the, you know the guy he was looking at up him because he was standing and the blind man in the floor so he pushed the necklace seed in his nose right away his uh, ears uh, can see because at that time people can see from their ears and they can uh, hear from their eyes what about uh, the guy who cannot walk? The same. Jesus gave him necklace seed. The guy, you know, he cannot walk. Jesus said, don't worry, okay, don't worry. But don't tell anyone, okay? Between me and you, just tell them it's a miracle, okay? Just open your mouth. Open your mouth, open your mouth, you know? He pushed necklace seed. Two minutes, the guy is like, wait. He's jumping like a monkey. In fact, he went to the Olympic in Qatar. Who is a Muhammadan? He believe in such a garbage. Either your prophet is a prophet or he's making up false information. And Muhammad himself, he died. The guy, he was sick at least for six years. Heavily sick to the point he cannot walk. To the point he cannot even stand to go to the bathroom. What about you take necklace seed? Hmm? Am I lying that your prophet cannot go to the bathroom? They carry him and he's dragging his feet. Who want to challenge me to see if I'm lying or not? May they, may they, any Muhammadan. Allah is the way and the truth and the life. Are you trying to copy Jesus? Guys, you see the Muslim, just to show you how the Muhammadan, they are a bunch of hypocrites like their prophet, Qatham, who changed his name to Muhammad. They say to you, there is nothing at birth. In the Bible, Jesus said, I'm God, worship me. But then we find that the Muslims, they copy the names of Jesus, the title of Jesus, and give it to Allah. Look what he said. Allah is the way, the truth, and the life. This is what Jesus said. 600 years before your prophet come out of the egg of his mother, Mrs. Chicken. By the way, 
There is a very interesting story about Muhammad that when his mother, she gave birth to him, according to Muhammad, and I wasn't there, as you know, even though I'm very old. I mean, I was old, but not that old. I mean, like, hey, you know, I was, you know, like, you know, I wasn't, you know, in the time of Adam, you know, you know what, what make me upset that when Adam, he married my grandmother, Eve, I wasn't born yet. I mean, I would love to see what happened. Especially at that time, they are not wearing clothes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, anyway. So, according to Muhammad, and only Muhammad, nobody saw that except him. Actually, even him, he did not see. He was a baby. The guy is coming out of him. So, according to Muhammad, when his mother, she gave birth to him, light came out from her vagina and reached all the way the palaces of Damascus. Have you ever heard of such a beautiful vagina like this? The light, brother. Like imagine a woman, she is giving birth. And now from her vagina is coming light. In Mecca, nobody can see it. <laughs> In Saudi Arabia, nobody can see it. But the light went all the way to Damascus. Let me explain to you why. I know, I know, the story doesn't make sense. However, that because you are an infidel and you are a stupid. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Excuse me, you make me angry. Such a story not only makes sense, it is the sense itself. And let me explain to you scientifically what happened. Sorry, I get angry. Sorry, what I can do? Because simply, I mean, people still don't believe, even though this is very clear. There is tons of evidence. Even though there's no witnesses, however, who need to witness such a thing? Nobody. Even the Prophet did not see it. So what? So, Prophet Muhammad, his mother was here. Let me draw it for you. Please don't take a screenshot because this is copyrighted. And uh, my uh, cousin Picasso, uh, you know, he liked to sell them in his uh, uh, Embryo Gallery. So uh, the mother of Prophet Muhammad, she was giving birth to him in her lunch break. And she was here. And those are the legs. And then, when she is giving birth, the light came out from her private part, unlimited, unstoppable, and invisible, all the way to Damascus. Look here. This is Damascus here. Many people in Damascus, at that day, they went blind. Actually, right now in Damascus, there is a, a coffee shop. It's called the Blind Date. Do you know why they call it a Blind Date? Because in that coffee shop, in that day, all the people were there, they went blind. So until now, they call it a Blind Date because everybody got blind. Now, who is a Muhammadan who dare to say this is not a true story, the Prophet, he said. And then you ask the Muslim, how come nobody saw this? No history written about. I mean, if a light came like this, going all the way, you know, a th thousands of kilometers, nobody saw it? Are you sure? Hmm. Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me? Mede Mede? We do not know what the nature of the light, excuse me. Don't ask me technical questions. I mean, this guy is asking me a technical question, Mr. Jim. Mr. Jim, I hate you. Okay, let you know what? I'm going to ask Allah to curse you. And he will not extend your private part in as a reward. You are cursed now. Okay? 
I know this is very sad news for you, but you get what you ask for. Chapter 5, verse 101 says, Ask not questions. Verse number 102, it says, Why? It says, Because if you ask those questions, you will leave your religion. So how in the world this guy, Jim, he asked those questions. Haram! What's wrong with you? CP, I want to know if the light was in... I don't even know how to read the word. I mean, can't you make it shorter? Okay, you know what? I'm going to make it I in C. <laughs> we are, we read only the first three letters. You know? Forget about the rest. Who cares about the rest? In send, in send. What the heck is that? Of fluorescent. What? Are you sure? <laughs> Man, nobody can discover the nature of this light. It wasn't having any light. Come on. I mean, what those things light is? This is light in the earth. No, no, this is different light. This is this is different light from any lighting. Unbelievable, this guy. Hey, admin, just uh, you know, tell him to play out with the kids. You know, like this is what I did with the, you know, when I was in the airplane last time. There was a uh, people like Jim. You know, annoying, very annoying with their questions. So what I did, you know, I, I have a I have a football. So I throw the football out of the airplane and I open the exit door. I said to them, go play outside. They jump. Since then, I never say them. True story. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? We were asking why Mimi Hijab saying that this guy is not a Muslim because he said that gay is not a sin. Why? Why are you saying it's not Muslim? Any Muhammadan? <sighs> you are embarrassed state is free today my friend he is not a free he is under house arrest potato those cases will take years under house arrest do you know what house arrest mean it's mean he is under arrest and you are a dummy he cannot leave his house those cases will take years i mean the original case is i think 2014 14. So this guy, just wait, you will have a lot of fun. You and your Tate, uh, by the way, uh, correction. His name is not Andrew Tate. His name is Andrew Tit. Prove me wrong. What do you think? I mean, aren't you even ashamed to speak about a pimp, you potato? The only religion who they are proud about pimps are Islam. They think a pimp can make Islam look better. That is proof to us the nature of this garbage cult. <clears throat> is it to do not kill or do not murder? Look up the Hebrew. Mm. Uh, a Muslim is a questioning, is it murder or not to kill? Hmm. Why you don't call me and let us talk about the killing and the murder? What is the punishment if somebody kill a woman in Islam? What do you know? Who is a Muslim? Why tell me? What is the punishment if a man, he killed a woman? They love to change the topic. Any Muhammadan? Mede, Mede, Mede. How do you do? Who would like to call us so we can speak to you? I like to convert to Islam and get the version. And you never know, I might get your own wife from you. Mede, Mede. How do you do? Hey, by the way, Muslims. If a Muslim woman, she go to heaven, who is the one is going to sleep with her? As you know, Muslim women, they keep marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing, marrying, divorcing. I mean, Khadija herself, she have three husbands. 
who is the one is going to have her? Any Muhammadan? Don't forget to subscribe because as you see, here we give tits in case you subscribe. And we take the back the tits from Muhammad Hijab if you unsubscribe. Just a warning, disclaimer. Subscribe now and get tits. I have a special connection with Andrew Tit. He can send you a lot of tit. He's holding the Quran with him. He's a good religious man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the religion of the religious. I mean, come on, the Prophet, he ordered his men and women to give tits. We have Andrew Tits, he's holding the Quran, but yet he is a pimp. I mean, forget about the accusation of rape. The guy entered, they arrested him, his pimp business is running. Until the day they arrested him. <laughs> all right, all right, no problem, no problem. Do we have any Mohammedan here? Who's a Mohammedan? Anyone? Be my witness, those Mohammedan don't dare to call us. They are afraid, they are terrified. They knew that Islam is stupid. They knew that we know the laundry of Islam, all of it. All the panties of Muhammad, we have it. All. Any Muhammadan. May they, may they. Not a single Muslim he texted us today. Each time, you know the reason they don't call, because they knew if they call, they will leave Islam. You will notice, like if we go back, how many Muslims they called me, and how many of them they hang up and they did not leave Islam yet? Maybe the average is maybe like, I don't know, two to, to eight? So who is a Muhammadan? He want to bet that if he call me, he most likely he will leave Islam. And that's why you're afraid to call. There's no point of calling someone have no ears. Ah. Ah, you just hurt my feeling now. How do you know that my ears are so small? Seriously, are you like, are you a hacker or something? Guys, there's no point of calling someone, he have no ears. You know, what do you think about your prophet when the angel came to him and he said to him, read. And the prophet said to him, I cannot read. Then the angel, he squeezed him again and he said again, read. Do you think the angel, he don't have ears? I mean, the prophet already told you, you idiot, I cannot read. So I challenge you to answer the question. If the angel of Allah, he have ears, and he told Muhammad first time, read, and he squeezed him. And the, the, the prophet of Allah answered back saying, I cannot read. Then why your angel say it again? Read, and he squeezed him again. The prophet, he said to him back, you stupid idiot, are you deaf? I told you I cannot read. The angel, he squeezed him for the third time, and he said to him, read. So I want to know if your angel have ears or he have something else. Do you see what happened to you when you say something? Something. Who want to answer? Do this angel have ears? Or he deaf? I mean, the guy, he told him, I can't read. The angel keeps saying, read. Muhammad said to him, I told you I can't read. The angel, he get more violence, violent with him, 
and he squeezed him again. Yeah, there's no mayonnaise is coming out. This is Muhammad is dry. Any Muhammadan? Very simple question. I challenge you to answer it. I mean, if the angel is not deaf, why he keep squeezing Muhammad three times, saying to him the same sentence? Read. Anyone? Yeah, exactly. What he's supposed to read too. But this is a different story, my friend. Don't ruin my story now. We are want to focus about the ears of the angel. Don't get technical. <laughs> what he's supposed to read. This is a good question, by the way. Like Mufti Mink, he said, you know, when the thief, he said to the caliphate, if it's my destiny to be a thief, why you want to punish me? The caliphate said to him, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Well, it's your destiny to be a thief. It's my destiny to punish you. That's amazing. Do we have any Muhammadan? Can answer a very simple question. Hmm. Anyone? And you know the story about read and I cannot read. Showing us that the one who made the Quran is an idiot because don't Allah knew that Muhammad cannot read? Is Allah using the wrong word? How you say to somebody read, but the guy do not know how to read? I will accept such a statement if Allah is making a miracle. Allah say read, the guy he cannot read. But when Allah said to him read, he was able to read. Like the poor guy yesterday, the, the blind man who called me, he said, well, Allah, he says, be it was. Here we go. Allah said to Muhammad, three times read. Because the angel is not the one read. He's talking, yes, but this is the word of Allah. Allah said to Muhammad, three times read. The angel squeezed him three times. Muhammad still cannot read and he doesn't even understand. <clears throat> Hassan Noor saying it's a miracle. Brother, listen, I never thought about it this way. Hassan, from now on, you are an admin in my chat when I am not live. You can ban anyone you want. When I am not live, you are in charge of the chat. That's it. There is no way. I never get an answer straight sharp intelligent like this before it's a miracle so allah he said to muhammad three times read and muhammad still cannot read it's a miracle hmm i saw my neighbor he said to his dog sit the dog don't sit sit the dog he don't sit sit you idiot the dog don't sit yeah. now i understand it was a miracle. You know what? At that time, I thought the dog is a stupid. It turned to be the guy is making a miracle. He told the dog sit and the dog did not sit three times. Now I got it. Thank to you, Hassan Noor. If not you, how we can understand the barbecue? Hmm. Learn Islam is calling me, nobody is calling me. This guy is a potato. <laughs> Maybe he's calling the old uh, Skype. Hmm. If somebody call me, you will hear even the call. Do we have any Muhammadan? And now we understand how miracles in the Quran are miracles. If you say something three times and never happened, that is a miracle. 
In fact, this is an astonishing miracle. Think about it. I mean, don't think. If you think about it, you will get in trouble. If a Muslim he think, he will be totally in trouble. Do we have any Muhammad and he have answer, but you don't think? What do you mean I'm not online? This guy is a potato. Here we go. I'm online. Huh? Let me show you my Skype. Here we go. Do you see my online? You see it? It says Arabian Prophet online. Do you see it? Online. And I have no calls. Potato, potato, potato. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Abdul, be sure you are calling the right Skype. The admins are posting my Skype and I have it in the info of the video. Potato. Any Muhammadan, he is so proud to be a Muslim, would like to join us. He's a Muhammadan, he doesn't know how to call anybody. I mean, Muhammad, he want to go to the Kaaba, he go to Zainab. Where are you going, Prophet? I'm going to the Kaaba to pray. They find him in the bedroom of his own son wife. Look like the Kaaba moved. At that time, there is no, you know, there is no GPS. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? We will not even ask you a tough question. We will make it so easy. And you know, remember, Allah will support you. I mean, if Allah is supporting you, why you wanna be a worry? Don't worry, be happy. Why would lie? It's Ramadan. Well, Ramadan is the month of lying. Just get lost. I don't have time for kids. Anyone can call me and everybody will see that you are a liar, fraud. Please answer when you are not answering. Do you have some ears in your, you know, be a man. My Skype is open, potato. I'm not calling you. You are not answering, okay? What is missing is to show me your tits too. Mayday, mayday. Who of you dare to call me? And I will show you. Any Mohammedan? Honestly, I want to convert to Islam. I love... I cannot say that word. Okay, I will say the last name of Andrew Tate. Okay, I love the last name of Andrew Tate. God will give us women with big boobs? How big? Like, you know, like those women when they like do, like, you know, you, you go to the gym, you will see those women like boing, 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 boing. But imagine in the heaven of Allah, not only boing, man, it's going to be like an explosion, like boom, 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 boom. No boing, boing. Boing, boing, those are small ones. They're like, you know, what the heck is that? You know? Uh, we, uh, honey, can you give me grape? And please don't hit your... Uh, okay, grape, grape, please. Okay. Hey, Muhammadan. Boobs? Ghost, would you take my call? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, text me. Any brave Muhammadan? I want to know what all those promises about boobs, breast, penis, one mile ass. What the heck is that?
Where is the holy God in your religion? Is it true that your God, he promised us banana in heaven? Anyone can tell us? I never heard of a God. He mentioned, I mean, it's, you are God. Listen, listen. You are God. And now you are promising me banana. Hmm. What about coconut? Banana. Any Muhammad? I don't want to talk about banana. You know, once I was debating an atheist, he said to me, Do you like banana? I said, I made a mistake. I should not say yes. Then he said, Okay, you know what? I just approved the theory of Darwin that a human being originally is a monkey. I told him, you do not need to do a banana trick. Look at what Muhammad did, you know what monkey is about. Jumping from women to women without washing, as the hadith says. Banana trees, or every citizen, believe on me, but no coconut and no avocado. Sorry, in my heaven only banana, and you will be jumping like monkey. You will enjoy it. You would love it. Hmm. Hey, my friend, I don't want to talk to you. Yahweh is a pagan God. People can say whatever they want. What people they do, they go and try to measure a name to Yahweh. Yahweh is not a name. Yahweh, you need to read in the language. It's not even a Yahweh. Go and read what Hebrew is saying. So don't be stupid. Even don't waste my, my time. You see, when I, when I see somebody is in the time in the year 2023, you have fast internet, you have computer, you have a phone. I mean, you have, when I was in your age, we don't have those things. Now you can find in two seconds what the name of the title of the God of the Hebrew mean. And you will find this is not even a name. So those stupid people, when they say what they say, they are comparing between languages have nothing to do with each other. Because the words have different meaning. Do we have any Abdul? Allah bless all of you. Okay. Well, this is against the Quran. Allah bless not except Muslims. You are a fraud. You are a fraud, my friend. Allah bless everyone. Isn't it the Quran says that is not true? Allah, he curse all those who are not Muslims. You are a coward and you are a liar. Okay, he keep repeating, Allah bless all. Hmm. What if I get you busted in two seconds? I want you to do this. I know you will not call me. I want you to promise, if I show you from the Quran, that Allah bless only Muslims, not non-Muslims. In fact, he cursed them. Do you agree to post in the chat that you are a donkey and you apologize for lying. Is that fair, guys? This guy, he will not call me. Do you promise me? Say yes.
Betito, 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 And here we dub the skin, and here we put it in. What do you think? Who is a Muhammad and he dare to call me? I will make you a circle, even if you are a square. Anyone? Are you there, Bathfinder? Oh, he said yes. Okay. I did not know this guy. He said yes. He will promise to call himself Donkey if I show him that. Well, I will show you tons of verses. Not only one, not only two, not only three, not only four, not only five. I will show you. Uh, you know, here we go. But let us start. Guys, he agreed if I showed him that Allah curse. He don't bless non-Muslims, and not only that, actually, he cursed those Muslims who they do associate with non-Muslims. Let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad and get ready, Mr. Bathfinder, stop writing down that you are a donkey. Today, I will give you a certificate you will be proud of. Are you married? Your wife, she will be proud of you, man. I mean, seriously, she will be wondering.